So that was number one from Giuliani's Opus 50. Opus 50 is a collection of 32 works and you might already have the sheet music. It's a very popular collection, but if you don't, I do have a new edition of all 32 pieces and there's a link for that in the description. Opus 50 is a really fantastic little collection of works that range from quite easy to mid-intermediate, but there's 32 of them. Um, some of them are lovely major key pieces, some are minor key pieces, but they're, they're really just great um, student works or sight reading pieces or great for professionals to play at casual gigs. Um, lots of different applications. They're just really quite nice pieces and also just great examples of late classical era music for the guitar. So just a, just a quick few comments on, on little aspects of this piece. Uh, the first section of this piece presents the melody in a, in a relatively plain way. So you can practice the upper line melody on its own first. When you get to bar 17, you get the same melody, but with a, a much more active accompaniment. So sometimes it's good to like compare, just compare the first four bars to bar 17 four bars. So. So you just want to present that melody and make sure that it's very obvious that it's it's being presented again. And of course, all this material, don't play it super loud. You want to kind of suppress it so the melody really rings out. If I were to over exaggerate it, you know, you could like really bury it. But just make sure it's, the accompaniment isn't overpowering the melody. Besides that, um, I think it's pretty straightforward. In the opening section, I use my thumb on all the downstem notes, even if it's on the second string, just to keep the voices clear. If you wish, feel free to kind of switch to your fingers when you go to the upper strings. But just again, for clarity, I keep the lower voice in the thumb and the upper voice with alternating um, I and M and maybe occasionally A. At bar 17, I've marked in the fingering for right hand. Just am I on the top voice and thumb on the lower. Uh, well, there's three voices. There's the bass voice, the upper voice, and then this accompaniment voice. So pretty straightforward. And then when it switches at bar 19, you can use the A finger just on the melody. So a very straightforward piece. The very last line is the only part that presents some left hand um, you know, irregularities, but nothing too, nothing too tricky. So when you're going through this section, use your second finger and third finger here. That way the first finger is available to grab that F. But then you have to jump it anyway. But it might just make that one transition a little bit easier.